that's my secret cap. I'm always drunk. <laughs> all right, that's where the recording started. <laughs> um, Perfect. All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to recap what happened last last week, two weeks ago, last time we played. Um, I don't know if you guys remember like really well. No. We were in the mine, ghost. and the little ghosties came, because I was singing a little yeah. song. Yeah. Right. And then danced with them, there's... and then they got spooked by Big Boy. And there's Big Boy. <laughs> nasty Boy. Big, big, ugly, nasty spirit, spirit boy. Um, yeah. But I'll go into some detail as to what you guys did. So, you, um, you had a little talk. Um, Ida tried to convince you guys to uh, leave town, and you decided that she has no right or place to tell you what to do. And if you want to help some people that you barely know, then that is full within your your capacity and, and want. Um, so after that, you discussed a few of the weird goings on around town and decided to head to the quarry to investigate the um, the voices and, and things that have been reported out of there. Um, um, going down into the quarry, you almost lost uh, Ignis as he did fall a hundred feet straight onto his back. Um, but after a, uh, a very good heal by Latona, he was able to you know, hop right back up. Um, then Nova, attuned to her quarry spirit, sensed an old mining song that was sung in the quarry, uh, and you all decided to join in and sing that to sort of bring forth or, or try to communicate with the spirits here. Um, as the chorus sort of resounded, um, these shadowy figures of past miners who you couldn't make out who, like their identities uh, again began to come forward. Um, but they quickly scurried as something else began crawling towards you, dragging itself uh, with its nails pulling uh, across the stone. And that is what currently faces you. And I would like you guys to roll initiative. Oh, shit, thanks. So I liked your mid-word burp. It was really good. Oh, my burp? Yeah, it was like mid-word. It was really Yeah, your burp was so high. Thanks. It was the, it's... I wouldn't go that far. Um, this is a burp juice. Um, Diet Coke, not sponsored. Uh, put the turn order in. Don't tell me what to do. You're so valid, Chris. This is sponsored by me. Maybe I don't want there to be a turn order. Why is there two of me? Why two? Um, because the the that turn order was old. Is this you guys' second fight? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. uh, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, because we opened last time. Yeah, you guys, you guys didn't fight last time. You just sort of almost died. You're just chatting. Yeah, we 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 simply failed rolls. Sometimes you fail rolls a little as a treat. Can okay. Ignis heal himself by punching himself in the face? I hope so. Um, I don't think it says anything in the rules that I can't self heal. Like they don't specifically say not. Then but you can. I, so I can, Ooh. I can probably slap myself healthily. You know how they do in anime when they really want to focus and they like slap themselves on either cheek. I'm gonna do a quick. <laughs> that just fixes a broken jaw. <laughs> yeah. So, Chris, my dex is 17 for the tie. The tie between who? Oh, Me the boy. The my dex is 17. Let me check mm -hmm. real quick. Uh, you'll go first. So let me oh, yeah. order this. Ah, we're faster than a ghost. Haha, uh -huh, fuck you, ghost. <laughs> oh, wow, you're faster than a ghost. Shut up. Um, imagine going after the ghost. Yeah. Imagine. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but yes, you, you can <laughs> heal yourself. Wondering. If you want to slap yourself healthy, go for it. Um, from a distance, though, people will think you're crazy. Um, they already do. Where was I? All right, Ignis, you are atop of the order. You're in this dusty ass mine. You cannot see the sun. And for all intents and purposes, it is um, very dim light. So, I don't know if that affects you. Uh, nope. I am Elvin. So, let's see. I am Elvin. I'm going to have to zoom in oh, yes. slightly. Not Felvin. Kelvin. Elvin. I'm glad it's far away right now. Yeah, it is far away. It could get closer. I want it to. Yeah, nope. I don't want to off all my crazy stuff early. You know what I'm saying? Like skills out early. Yeah, I know that I can. What? 
want to see if I can close the distance. I know there's a way, but I just don't know if I have to spend are, to do it. You are a monk. You are so fast. So fast. No! You uh, can bonus yep. action step of the wind. Yep, yeah. uh, but that is a key point. You get it back on a short rest. Stop being a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we're doing it. You're doing so it. So I immediately. It? I am going to move uh, my full movement, which is. Wait, what am I doing? I'm a fucking dumbass. I have 40 movement. Okay, so 40 is right there. But that's it. Yeah, no, I'm going to move too. Uh, so I'm popping, uh, Step of the Wind so that I can move m much closer to the ghosty. Let's see. 40, 50 should do it. I do want to hit you with that combat music. <laughs> um, okay. I was here. So I need, yeah, just a little bit more. So go right there. And I am just going to toss a dart at the thingy, at okay. the ghosty. Go for it. This is a 25 hit. It does. Good job. Yeah. Go. I don't want to call you a Eight day, damage. How does that fail? How does that fail? I mean, it's a ghost. There's got to be some bullshit about how it doesn't take damage. <laughs> Well, Fair. I'll tell you. So um, you quickly jettison off using your step of the wind, springing across this dark cave, um, and then you go to attack this creature. And what type of damage is this? Uh, dark. I'm assuming piercing. Piercing. Dark damage. So you dark dexterously damage. simple damage. Like throw it's a dart. Simple damage. Um, and it is so practice this maneuver. You've done it a million times. You throw it straight line, strike straight through its heart. Usually it stays, but you see the dart continues on and slams into the cave wall behind it. It seems to have done a little bit of damage. Mm. Ooh. We have ghost problems! And then that's my turn. All right, Frigus, you're up. Wizard. All right, I'm going to uh, yell after uh ignis and say you're not the only one who can do that and as my bonus action i'm gonna cast expeditious retreat yeah. uh and i'm going to take my action oh, and my expeditious haste. retreat to go 60 feet and how i cast this is i kind of make shoes made out of ice and then slide forward and as i skid to a halt next to ignis i'm gonna take some of this cold energy and shoot it out as frostbite towards Ghosty Man as my action. Frostbite. It's a cantrip. Right. All right. Go for it. Roll that damn. Uh, roll the hit. Uh, no, you roll con save. Oh, I roll con save. Does a six save? No. Sure. You take five cold damage, and <laughs> your next weapon attack is at disadvantage. I take. Five cold damage. Okay, cool. Uh, so you send out this it, it's spectral hand, right? Um, you send out this spectral hand clutching at this no. spirit. It is just like a mass of ice. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, you send out this shard of ice. It goes uh, spiraling, turning as if a bullet fire, fired out of a rifled barrel um, straight towards the spirit. As soon as it impacts, you see that the ice covers it instead of going straight through like the dart before it. Um, but as this ice covers it, this is a spell you cast. You're mentally linked to this spell. You had to think about this. And when you get the thought back that you've actually hit this creature, you feel cold in turn. You, all the cold energy that was stored up in that spell sort of freezes in your memories. Um, it doesn't do anything to you, but I'm just letting you know that I don't know if that ghost felt any of that. Um... And uh, but it, it does have disadvantage oh, it's a... on its next attack regardless because of the failed con save. That's hot. Um, That's pretty nice. Nova. Okay, so I am going to run right over Side here. Note, why am I tipsy off one shot? Why yeah, are you literally. tipsy off of one shot? Because you're small. Like, my head is like... Ugh. You're it'll bitty. <laughs> so... You don't have to spend money on alcohol. No, very cheap. I also I did not buy this. 
Hell but let's yeah. go. Nova sees. Well, first you didn't buy it. You're twenty. Am I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You are. Cool. So what? Uh, Nova kind of sees them use some like funky shit to get forward, and she's like, "Can you do that?" Um, I'm just gonna run <laughs> forward and not do fancy <laughs> Sure. You you watch as like Frigus goes and like slides under with his ice boots. Uh, Ignis jumps up in the air, takes off, stepping on seemingly nothing. Uh, you just take a nice jog. Yeah, Nova just they just run. <laughs> So, and then they are going to hit this bastard. Um, so they kind of focus their power into their hands and create a psychic blade bow, which is so fucking cool, first of all. Um, and um, they're going to attack. How are you? I'm going to try. And it's psychic damage. I'm think yeah so i'm gonna roll a hit okay it's a does a does a nine hit oh tough luck nine does not hit hold on i might have something to benefit me okay one second no i don't just kidding um okay and then I'm going to, well, I took the attack action, technically, so um, they're going to try to shoot another. Okay, go ahead. It, we uh, talked about it, you don't necessarily need to hit. For right, 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 right. 24! Um, this is on your blades, are you in range? I am. You... Okay. It's 60 feet. Gotcha. Uh, 24. Yo! It's only a d4 plus 3, but... So good. That is four damage. All right, four psychic damage. I got minimum damage, baby. Amazing. Um, so you jog forward, following after your compatriots, and you try to materialize this bow. Um, it's something you're very good at. You've done it a million times before. Your quarry spirit helps you out. But something is wrong with this cave. The vibes are off, and you find it just extra difficult to bring that bow forward. So when you do summon your arrow to shoot at it, uh, you see that you completely miss your mark. Um, mm -hmm. But since you've already pushed past and summoned the bow, you do manage to bring up another of your psychic blades tossing that and striking true. Um, and that is going to bring us to my spirit. I have a quick question. Does it sure. look like the second attack like did something to it? It did. Uh, you, you see the okay. spirit sort of faded out of existence for uh, momentarily. Um, Magic damage! <laughs> hell okay, cool. Yeah. Um, now, what to do? I think... I'm going to fly right in front of you two. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to go and hit at you. Um, does a 20 hit? Not natural. Uh, who are you aiming at? I'm aiming at Ignis. A uh, 20 does hit. All right, that's going to be 10 you're, you're, wait, 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 wait. What's your, what's your, what's your AC? 17? 17? Damn, I can't do anything about that. Awesome. Uh, so it, it does 10 necrotic damage as Ooh. it just sort of flies up to you into your face and wraps its spectral hand around your throat. It feels like a, as if solidified smoke has almost begun suffocating you um, and uh, it, it steals some of your life force. Um, and again, that is 10 necrotic damage. That hurts real bad. All right. That hurts real bad. Latona, you're up. Yes. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna do a funny little guiding bolt. Funny. That's radiant damage, correct? Yeah. I'm also gonna move forward enough feet so that I can so that I can do that. And then I rolled a hit, which is a funny concept still. <laughs> Uh, 16 plus 6, 22 hit. 22 does hit. Oh, I did it. Yeah, not gonna feel great. Mm. Uh, that is 20 damage. Oh, that just popped up. That's so cool. It popped up on my D&D &D Beyond. Um, yeah. Wow, 20 damage. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, again, um, describe your guiding bolt again. I, I can't remember from two sessions. Um, she points at things, and like it's a like dark twilighty color, surrounded by flex like streaks of purples and pinks and dark blues and like hints of silver. Sure thing. Uh, so you send out this guiding bolt, holding up your symbol high. It streaks through the air, twisting as it does with these purple-blue flecks. Um, and you see the smoke and ash and dust that this cavern is full of sort of move out of the way. Um, and not necessarily from the forest, but perhaps just out of deference to the spell you're casting. It weaves past Ignis and strikes true. Um, and you say like this internal twilight expand in the spirit before dissipating. And it leaves like, these patchy holes um in the the smoky ghost is that your turn uh yes awesome ignis okay um so i'm not looking too hot so i'm just gonna look up at the ghost go my turn and then i'm gonna run up uh I'm going to run up Frigus, kick off, and kind of do a spinning moon kick, <laughs> oh, where, yes. like I'm landing on the head. Okay. You don't take a lot of damage, so we're just going to have to hit you more. And I am going to spend two key points, one to do Flurry of Blows, and one to make one of those Flurry of Blows a healing hand on me. On you. Okay. So first, I need to roll two uh, unarmed strikes against Frindo. So that's a 14 and a 15. Both hit. Both hit, okay. So that is 8 damage, followed by 5 damage. Uh, Non-magical bludgeoning. So that's 13 yeah. damage before... Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so... Uh, and you're here. Now I need to roll healing on myself. Um, and so it, I guess I just land on my head, but it heals me instead of hurting me. Sure. Um, so you jump in the air, do a spinning kick, uh, jumping off Ignis. Uh, you strike twice at this ghost doing so. And, uh, again, you, you do feel your attacks. They, they don't hit anything solid. It's, it's hard for you to gauge what you've done. Uh, but as you fall back, uh, you do manage to heal yourself with that final blow. Um, and that will bring us to Frigus. So as uh, Ignis is going high, I'm gonna six. Um, I'm gonna go low and I'm gonna slide like through um, like this ghost and try while I'm going through to put my hand up and cast a uh, shocking grasp. And I kind of want to land on this side of the ghost after. Okay. And um, shocking grasp, its extra effect is is what again? Uh. You have advantage if the armor is made of metal, and it can't take reactions until the start of the next round of hits. Okay, cool. Um, and also, that attack I made was a disadvantage, just so you know. Word. Um, uh, does a 25 hit? 25 does hit. Take uh, 5 lightning damage. All right. Um, so before Ignis has even hit the ground, you slide underneath uh, towards the back of this creature as it's still focused on him. Then you reach forward with a shocking grasp, and you you didn't grab anything. Your hand passed straight through. Um, and it's twisted its smoky veil of a head to look at you, um, and it sort of smirks um, and then contorts its whole body to face you. buddy. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh -huh. Awesome. Nova. Okay, so they are going to run up and I'm flanking, right? You are technically flanking, yeah. So you have sneak attack. <laughs> and um, so what they're going to do, since they have like the bow. How much damage was that? Oh, sorry, uh, ten truck. Uh, how much shot? damage was that, Ethan? Uh, five. Okay. You did do a little you bit. Have, you should have had Seek Attack last time, also, because we were within five feet of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Whenever an ally is Even when I'm far feet, away? Yeah. Even if the ally is within five feet of uh, the enemy, uh, you get Seek Attack. Oh. That is very good to know. Huh. Um, because that was a mistake on my part, I will give you advantage on this attack. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Um. Okay. So I am. What they do is, since they already have the bow out, um, mm-hmm. they kind of like make the bow, kind of transform into a blade. <laughs> sure. And use that to fight. And they're gonna do the same thing for you. All right. So that's a twenty-one to hit. It does hit. And if you want to roll the uh, advantage just to see if you get um, an at there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, we'll take the higher. No. <laughs> um, that's five psychic damage. Yeah, five psychic damage. And then um, let me roll the sneak attack. There's my sneak attack. And then five more damage. And then five more damage, okay. Yes. And then I am going to bonus action hit again. Okay. And 13. 13 misses. Ah, what was me? No um, after death be upon you. I know. After that, um, you can back up for free if you want. Yeah, but me. opportunity attack. No, he can't take reactions. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna run back a little bit. 5, 10, 15. Okay, and that's where I end my turn. Alright, awesome. Uh, so you once again jog forward towards this uh, this aberration, and pulling out your blades, you manage to strike, strike true. Um... After it recoils from the psychic damage, you back off once again, trying to get out of its reach. And it is my turn. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, I know what I could do. I'm going to move. And I'm going to take two opportunity attacks. Uh, Okay. Dagger time. Punch! This 12, is homophobic. Plus yeah. Sure. 18. 18 hits. And Ignis? 16. 16 hits. 8 piercing damage. Alright, I'll take 8 piercing damage. Okay, so it's the same damage, but I do want to reflavor that that I threw the dart. Okay, how much damage? 8? 5. 5, alrighty. Um, so yeah, this thing, um, after Nova strikes these two psychic blades, um, it sort of recoils, and it, it, Nova, you kind of felt that it was looking into your head as the blade connected to it, and for whatever reason, that brought it towards you. Um, Ignis and Frigus, Frigus, as you see it escape, uh, you two both try to make a quick attack, um, and both of you land, uh, Ignis, you throw a dart, uh, once again passes, does a little bit of damage, and lands somewhere next to Nova, I mean to Latona. Um, and I'm going to take my action. I need everyone to make oh. a constitution saving throw. That's so rude. Let me double check on that. Yep, everyone. You know, the wizard's famous constitution saving throw. Wizard's famous constitution saving throw. a 15! Oh shit, I rolled decent. decent. Let's go. Aww. Six. Nat 20! Oh, oh. Yeah. 19 and not 20. So that's only two fails. Um, let me explain what this thing does, right? <clears throat> it, it it starts soft and slow. It, it sort of reminds you of that song from earlier, the, the pickaxes slamming against the side of the cave walls with a choir of voices behind it. Um, but instead of sounding uh, sort of earnest, it sounds like a cruel and sick parody um, where it's almost mocking the sounds that are rising up. Um, and as it starts from this low hum, it begins to rise and rise until it turns into an awful screech um, that ruptures your eardrums. Uh, most of you are able to resist and cover your ears, but the two of you who failed, I need you to drop to zero hit points. Oh! Did I fail? And, uh, no, that is oh. Frigus and Nova. Oh, okay. Um, and as you guys are affected by this, um, you you try to go and cover your ears, but you you can't quite reach. Um, 
And as the sound sort of hits you, it, it hits more than just your, your hearing, but it actually throws you back um, partially up this slanted cave wall. Um, and it was also Nova and Frigus. I have Quish. Yes. Do I lose all my temporary HP too? Yes. Fuck. And the other two, you take an additional... Um, Eight. Oh, no, that's actually different. My bad. Eleven uh, psychic damage. That's so weird. Dandy Beyond so, and roll 20 gave us two? Numbers. Uh, yes, that is uh, Latona and Ignis. You take Ouchie. 11 uh, oh, boy. psychic damage. Not fun. Not good. Um, and as for Nova and Frigus, you guys... Um, uh, you are similar to that skull you guys found as you were coming down into this cave. You're sort of pinned into this cave wall about 50 feet up. Um, it is sort of slanted, so you're kind of resting at this, this, uh, uh sort of diagonal. Conchibus? Yeah. We're just hanging out. I'm actually going to change that to about 75, so you're most of the way out of the cave. Um. Uh, Chris. Can I hellish rebuke? Um. Damage. Take damage. damage. Yeah, you can't have a That is cool. a charisma save. Dex save, Dex. Dex save of 14. Mm, 21. Damn. I think you still take half. Let me read. Yep. Yeah, Indeed. still take half. Uh, 13, 23. Nova, are you the other? Half to 11, right? 23 would be half to. No. 11. Half. Yeah, I thought I said 10 for a second. I don't have a memory. Okay. That's interesting. Um, okay. It, uh, as, you know, it screech wails, uh, and, and as it fades down, um, you return in kind this uh, hellish energy um, of your heritage, and it engulfs uh, this spirit. Um, and... Could you make me a religion check real quick? Yeah, I can do that. Eight. Eight. Uh, y you don't know um, why, but you, you got some vague um, feeling from seeing this creature on fire, but you can't quite place it. Um, okay. And got some sort of feeling. It is your turn. Um... Cool. I'm going to... Oh, they got pushed all the way back there? Yeah, they're about 75 feet up on a cave wall. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Damn, that's rough. Uh, 75 feet above. Yeah, I physically can't heal that. Yeah. I, oh, so I forgot to mention for you too, though. You are at zero hit points, but you are not unstable. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So I'm know less concerned now. Um, and this cool. creature, by the way, is looking um, it's looking pretty good. Good? Oh, no. Uh, at least it's looking good after the attack it just made. Oh. Uh, that's Does unfortunate. It yeah, I'm assuming it. Probably took all of our HP. Yeah. Mm. Um. Uh, wisdom save. Failing its save is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. Turned creature must move away. Can't willingly stand within 30 feet of me. I have to make a wisdom saving throw? Yeah. I rolled a two. Mm. Let's go. Turned on it's undead, right? I got that right? You did get that one correct. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, so for the next minute, as long as you don't take damage, you have to move away from me. It can only take the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevent it from, that prevents it from moving. If there is nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. Hey. All right. Um, seeing your friends get slammed against this cave wall after the cacophonous noise, you um, bring your hands down from your ears and clutch your, uh, your to totem idol. And... Yeah. Um, it begins to radiate this soothing twilight after you whisper a prayer. Um, soothing as it may be, it begins to grow um, from twilight into brilliant dawn. 
Um, it, it is... I know Twilight is different. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it, it grows uh, from outside of your idol until it reaches the eyes of the spirit. And you see in its eyes a fear. Uh, a fear you can't quite resonate with being living. And um, it looks afraid. Um, Ignis, is that your turn? Uh, that's not a spell. Um, that is your power divinity. Yeah, haven't used bonus action. Bonus action. Um, is there any chance Healing Word would reach? Um, healing Word is a range of 30 feet. 60. 60. No, it does not reach. Okay, that's my turn then. Very close, though. Um, yeah. Ignis. Okay, um... Please don't hit it. Seeing, <laughs> a minute. Yes. Seeing that you are uh, going for Frigus, I am going to take the dash action over towards uh, Nova, which, let's see, it's 50 feet to get to the cliff wall. Um... And I don't have the ability to run up without the movement speed. But I want to just kind of drop a piece of hemp and rope on the ground uh, with one side and start climbing up the cliff wall. Mm -hmm. See, I have another 30 feet, so I want to go up 15 towards them. Okay, so you're up 15 feet on the cave wall. Yes. Gotcha. Um, all righty. And that will bring us to Frigus and Nova. Um, both of you are very much so unconscious, having your head slammed against a cave wall after hearing the screeching noise. Um, but while in your unconscious state, you sort of see these flashes um, of memories or distant visions um, that appear to be this cave when it was in full swing. Um, that is a pun. Thank you. Um, and... Uh, you see that it is, you know, a pretty prosperous mine. It was originally started off as this limestone quarry, people pulling up uh, loads of construction material. But um, as they continued to dig deeper, they found the uh, real valuable stuff. They started bringing up glittering jewels and gold, silver, um, and um, not as much mithril as maybe the other mine that you've heard about, but uh, just enough to make a good profit. Um, you, however, see that there appears to be this sort of schism between a couple of the miners, this, this uh, argument um, that breaks out. And you, you can't make out what it's about, um, what's going on. And uh, you do know that there is a lot of blood, a lot of fire, and some miners left in collapsed branches. Um, there's a lot of hate in these visions, a lot of anger, a lot of doubt. And um, right at the end, uh, before it fades to black and you guys are purely and uh, truly unconscious, a little bit of regret. And that is your turn. Don't be my spirit. Uh, my spirit <laughs> is going to leave. Um, so what it does leave. is it is not running on its own volition. Instead, you... Um, uh, no, Latona, I would love, again, if you would make me a religion save, uh, 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 check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 19. Okay, 19. So you see what ha is happening to the spirit isn't exactly from your god. Um, mm. This is, it, it's not, um, it has nothing to do with you. It, it has something to do with you, um, but what you think of your knowledge of the undead and what your, your holy spells can do to them, er, you know that they... That, that spell can remind them of possibly what killed them and strike fear in their hearts for their unnatural continued living. Um, and what you see the spirit doing is it appears to be dragged from behind. Something is pulling it back towards the mind. Its fingernails are deep within the, uh, the soft stone uh, floor, um, and it leaves this trail of nail um, as it is pulled back um, 60 feet. Yeah. Which is off map and down a Spirit. corridor. I'm assuming that Latona would notice which corridor that is. Yes. Okay. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, now it's my turn. Um, can I 
So 30 feet halved is 15. Can I go like 15 feet up the wall? You could go 15 feet up the wall. Heck, I'm going to do that and then cast Healing Word. All right, go ahead and roll that. Uh, that is three plus four. Seven. Seven points of healing to Frigga. Thank you. All right. Uh, you throw out this healing word. Um, what do you say? Please get up. Please get up. Um, you say please get up, and it manifests this light, uh, this twilight above Frigus. Um, and the words you speak, they melt into these sort of light purple droplets of rain um, that fall on his face and revive you. That is, again, seven hit points, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. And is that your turn? Um... So to whoever's up right, so to whoever's up right now, um, we probably need to go down the corridor that thing just went down. But we we should get like sleep, sleep first, probably. Good idea. I'm yelling from the other wall. Uh, I just shoot a thumbs up back. <laughs> um, okay. 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 So for me, I'm out of healing juice. But I was able to go up 15 last time, which means that I can go up 20. Um, I'm assuming that means that I can't get all the way up to her? Um, or up to them? No, that is only 35. Mm. Um, yeah, so then I'm shot. just going to use my dash action to get up to where they are. Um, okay. And that's basically all I can do on my turn. Thank right. you. Um, you manage to uh, scramble up the uh, vertical cliff wall or diagonal cliff wall uh, until you reach Nova and you see that they are um, unconscious and pinned against this wall similar to the skull that you'd found um, but not quite as forcefully um, implanted into the rock. Um, Freyus. Uh, uh, so are we just going to go set up camp outside the quarry then? Yeah, but we need to get Nova up first. Okay. Just get your ass over here and help us get them down. Uh, I'm going to... How far up the... 75. I'm just going to use my action and uh, movement to try and get down the face of the cliff. Okay, you can make your full movement down the face. Um, you do just have to make me a uh, athletics or acrobatic saving throw not to fall. Can I say that I'm like offering a steadying hand for part of the way down? Yeah. 25. Um, acrobatics. Uh, 20, 25 is great. <laughs> um, That's fine. And you can make it your full movement uh, down the side of the wall. All right, uh, word. Is that your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. All right, Nova. I sort of zoned out for a second. Uh, you were unconscious. Ghost is running. Yeah. Latona? Uh, yeah. Action. Guys, I'm so high maintenance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something like that? Uh, still that not in range to uh, do anything. Uh, can I hold my action in case Ignis is able to get over with Nova this turn? Yes. Sick. Ignis, you are at Nova's body. Oh. I don't say that because okay, um, <laughs> I don't have climbing equipment. Um. Okay, so I guess what I want to do is I really just want to try and get Nova out of the wall. Okay. Uh, and is that going to be what kind of check is it to just pull them out of the wall? Um, it's not going to be any check. Uh, again, they're not, like, uh, implanted in the wall. They're just sort of pinned there. Um, so if you're able to pick up the weight, then you're fine. I'll say they're a little short, so <laughs> I don't know if that helps. Okay. <laughs> I don't have the best strength, but I also have a rope, uh, which I did bring one end of up with me. Hmm. Is there anything to wedge the rope under? Um, there are jagged rocks and things. 
Okay, I want to tie the rope around an outcropping. And then I simply want to just kind of uh, throw Nova over my shoulder a little bit and just try and slowly walk back down. What do I got to do? Um, so what is your strength stat? Not great. Um, it's a 10. Okay. Um... Yeah, we all we all went fuck the strength stuff. Fuck the strength yeah, stuff. Um, yeah. That, that will let you carry like over two hundred pounds, um, which I find interesting. Um, yeah, but I, guess I look. Most people can pick up two hundred pounds. It just feels like shit. Yeah, yeah most people. Uh, <laughs> mine's haunted. <laughs> um, awesome. mine's haunted. Mine's haunted. Uh, so you managed to pick them up. And um, begin headed down this cliff face. Could you make me an athletics or acrobatics check? Absolutely. I'll take your offering acrobatics as an option. For us dexy ass bitches. You dexy. Uh, that is fellas. a 21. 21. Oh, uh, you were managed to, you were able to balance your own weight, movement, and Nova's weight uh, as you're moving down. You're able to move your full movement. My full movement. Okay. So my full movement is going to get us down. To, uh, we're at 75. It'll get us down to 35. Okay. Yeah. And Nova. since I did the other oh. check, I can't dash. That's right. Uh, oh, I'm not awake yet. Just kidding. Cool. Uh, <laughs> my ghost do be running, though. Um, As he should. Am I making my... I can make my wisdom saves, I guess. Six. Yeah, so no. <laughs> <laughs> um... Latona. Cool. 35. I... So you were holding your action, so you're there. 60 feet. Let's let's see. 75. That's math time. They didn't get in range. It's fine. Okay, cool. I would have... If I had thought they had gotten in range, I would have said something. On the other hand, they should be in range now. Um, <laughs> they should be. Yes. They are that's... 55 feet. Yeah. Uh, that's a spicy little healing word. All right, how much is that? Uh, this dice is not. Sh I need to turn on a brighter light in my room. Uh, six. Nova, you are hit with six points of healing. You find yourself on the back of Ignis. Stop. Go. And come back later. That seems to be the plan. Cool. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna fucking sleep, gonna and then we're gonna go down a scary little cavern. We can go get bones. He has a gun. I don't think a gun would help here. I yeah. it could help to have another person though for like running it one shit. Could. I don't think it would make that much of a difference to have another person. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I thought we were because just gonna sleep like um okay. I feel like you might have taken the wrong course of action trying to fight it. Yeah, it might not have been a fighting thing, might have been a helping it thing. Okay, can we wait until I'm on the ground to talk about this? Yeah, you're pretty yeah, 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 yeah. This unconscious on, person has now become conscious and is moving. <laughs> I am holding on with nothing but my hands and my glutes. Um, well, Chris, can we flee? Can you flee? Can we be cowards for a second? Yeah. Can you be cowards? Yeah. Can we be cowards? I would love if you guys were cowards. We run away. What? You don't want to TPK us? We're gonna flee. N flee. Bitch made. A lot of you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm so, out of spell slots. So I want to go to bed. I'm a tanky <laughs> wizard, but I'm still a wizard. Yes. Um, <laughs> I am... When I read that I had a ability that on a con save can drop you guys down to zero, that was fucked. I didn't uh, want that. What well, but... happens if we all failed, Chris? What was that? What happens if we all failed, Chris? Yeah, Chris. Good question. But you did it. <laughs> and now we continue yeah. with our story. <laughs> um. You guys do have a taut rope all the way to the top if you want to take it. Let's go! Yes, yeah. Bye-bye. Escape right. rope. Um, haggard and weary, you guys climb up the rope, making sure to have uh, 
you know, the most dexterous and strongest of you uh, pulling up the front, uh, the rear to make sure no one falls. Um, wait, this is, wait, no, no, no. This is a genuine question. I would like you guys to figure that out. Score? I have a strength score of 14. Oh, that puts you Better up. than me. I have an 11. Okay. I have an 11. <laughs> all right. Am, uh, I, am I the buffest of them all? You the are wizard. the strongest. <laughs> I am wise and charismatic. You guys are amazing. To be you fair, I, I have. I, I rolled insane stats. It sounds like it. I rolled an 18 for wisdom. That felt pretty good. I have an 18, an 18, a 16. Oh, yeah. shit. You a got 15, two 18? A 14, and a 10. What the fuck, <laughs> even? Yikes, Nike. Maybe I should have killed you. Um, <laughs> I now, wait a second. I got the anime pro tag stats. You did? <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? Like, I thought my stats were cracked. What the fuck? Um, well, Frigus, you bringing up the rear, um, you turn your head to look at the cave that you're leaving, just sort of a last glance. And as you do, you see those shadowy figures, the, the, the memories of the miners that you called forth earlier with the rest of your party. Um, they look up at you, and in solidarity, they kind of all reach up towards you, almost grasping at the air. I'll just kind of, under my breath, look down and just say, I'll be back for you. Does right. Nova notice them? Um, perhaps. Um, no. uh, I'm, I'm going to say, everyone who wanted to notice that, noticed that. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Um. So, they're just going to look down and pick whichever one looks like the biggest and strongest and mind link with them and just say, we're going to be back. Um, you try to mind link, and you can't make a connection. What? They're not creatures? They are creatures. Aww. Maybe they just don't have minds. They do yeah. have minds. <laughs> what? Maybe the DM just said, fuck you. Maybe the DM <laughs> just said, nah. <laughs> not talking I, to I, ghost. I will say, it, it's with any, like, they will speak any language and can speak back to me in any I, language. I will say that there seems to be something barring you from being able mm. to make a psychic link with these creatures. Interesting. Sometimes you can't talk to ghosts. And I will also I throw the fact that that bar, it does feel very present and very malicious. As if something doesn't want you to talk mm. to them or doesn't want you to know. Hmm. So we're just it's the ghost. <laughs> um, shot oh, yeah. surviving. Huh? Oh, Hello, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, small break so I can go shit. Oh, sure. Thanks. Long rest? Not yet. <laughs> ah. Um, this okay. way, by the way, no. is, about, is about forty-five minutes out of town, so it's like a day's walk. It's not like a day's walk. Oh, okay. I thought we were just going to okay. sleep right up here and then go right back down. That was my mental plan. So I'm at three just, health. Just try to do it again. <laughs> Yo, back at it. Be smart to like ask some of the locals more about the mine and be like, the locals don't go in the mine though. Yeah, but they might know some of the history about it. Like, no, they be... don't. We know what the we know they don't. Because they said it was like abandoned, and they tried going down there a little bit, and they went, hmm, "This shit's fucking creepy," and they stopped going. Did we look for records about it? There's a it's library. Only, the town's only been founded for 10 years. They don't have things oh, dating further true. back. They can't know what happened in the future past. Oh. There are some things and some people. But we don't know shit about them and neither does the town. That's like the whole problem. Fair. I'm glad that the people at my work like me enough to invite me to dinner. Oh. What type of dinner? But, like, that was three hours of unplanned social. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. It, yeah, that they were so very stressful. nice. They were drinking, and I had to drive, and I'm a lightweight, so I could not also be drinking. Mm. What type of, um, what did you eat for dinner? Uh, I ate a pretzel and some fried pickles, because there were, like, no vegetarian options. Oh, was it like bar food? Yeah, it was like bar food. 
And they have, like, burgers and stuff, but, like, that's not helpful. On the other hand, pretzel dipped in cheese does slap. Yeah. It really does. Chris, when they were in my brain, mm -hmm. when the ghosty was in my brain. Sure. Um, can you give, like, the tiniest summary of it? It's okay if not, because my brain filtered at the end of it. Yeah, I could give you a tiny summary of what I said. Um, I said that the presence that was... Wait, which time the ghost was in your head? Like the unconscious When sequence? I was on the wall, yeah. Oh. Um, sure. That was sort of impromptu, but I'll, I'll, I'll see what I'll come up with. <laughs> it's okay if it's not um, like... No, I got you. Uh, so you sort of saw these images and flashes of the history of these mines. Right. Um, you saw that it started off as a simple quarry mine, and they, mine, and they eventually um, dug deeper and found glittering jewels and minerals, metals, right. and, and valuable things like mithril. Um, and eventually a, a, a sort of argument broke out, a complete mm. fact, a fraction, fracking, they fractured, there's the word, uh, groups of these miners, and um, there was a lot of arguing and chaos between them, a lot of bloodshed, um, you know, branches of the mine collapsing on miners, um, a lot of anger, a lot of hate, a lot of jealousy. Yeah. Um, and the last thing you were left with before slipping fully into unconsciousness was a feeling of regret. Oh, okay. Good to know. No to good. Good. I gotta get in the ghosty's brain, y'all. Say no to good? Huh? Sorry. I was... I'm... Doing great. Sound like it. <laughs> uh-huh. I get so much sleep all the time. That's what I do. To be clear, I'm actually going to bed at a reasonable time and setting my alarm for a reasonable time. Sleep just ain't but happening really... in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Not even fucking up my sleep schedule on purpose anymore. It's just bad now. Worse. I liked the battle music while we were just chilling here. It was really good battle music. It was. The battle Little music dwarfy. is from... Uh, the first part was from The Darkest Dungeon. And mm -hmm. the next part, um, Leagues of Darkness, Chariots of Blood, Death Eaters. Um, let the games begin. Just a couple of different sources there. You should check out the Xenoblade boss music. It kind of slapped. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The 3. One. 2 sucked. Yeah, it, and it looks like it's 1 again, so it might not suck this time. It also has a lot of 2 elements, though. Have okay, you played Definitive Edition? Not yet. Everything on it's Switch is so, so expensive. That's fair. It's so pretty. Like, it's the same plot. You know the plot. But, like, it's beautiful. Chris, the ghost like knows beautiful. thieves can't, right? The ghost knows thieves can't. Yeah, right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. All As ghosts, all know, ghosts thieves know thieves can't. And I can um use my three dragon anti set to play with it. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Chris, do you have any D and D podcasts to recommend? I'm almost fully caught up on Ether C, and that's going to be an issue for me at work. Um. No, actually, I don't listen to any of your podcast. That's fair. Neither do I, other than the Taz. I listen to Taz. Yeah, we both got Taz. Um, I got a recommendation. And the thing about oh? me and my very bad brain is I am able to watch things over again and listen to things over again without much issue. Um, I can, but like at work, I don't, I like, I'm moving shit around, literally. Mm. Mm. So like, I'm, okay. it's not thrilling i know that um brennan lee mulligan's gang has recently started a new thing but they yeah but brennan's not DMs. the dm oh i'm caught no, up no, on no. that he, yeah he's, he's dming this one it's like a oh yeah i'm caught up on that it's the hot dog campaign yeah sure <laughs> I uh, 
Uh, there's another one. Sophie, uh, you absolutely mm -hmm. have to try Friends at the Table. Uh, okay. Start with Mary Elda. Oh, okay. my God. Uh, Dungeons and Daddies, not mm -hmm. a BDSM podcast. I am familiar with Dungeons and yeah. Daddies loosely. Sarah and Lauren both recommended it to me and then told me I wouldn't like it. So that was confusing. Never mind. Um, I, gotta I have not how... interacted with it still, but I have been told to both listen to it by them and then they went actually JK, which is wild. Um, I okay, I gotta show y'all how much the music in uh, uh, Marielda slaps. It's so good. Have you, um, have you watched or have you listened to... Um... Nadpod? You don't like Merv. You don't like Merv? I don't Merv like Merv. Merv is really growing on me with this new one. He's not growing on me. I'm I'm liking him and Emily's characters less and less. He's he's fucking it up. Emily Axford? Oh. Yeah. I don't I vibe with her new character. I haven't watched. I haven't listened. Um, Genuinely, for sci-fi D&D, &D, it fucking slaps. You'd like it still. What is sci-fi? I know. You should watch The Seven, Chris. It's the so good. Seven. It's Seven Fantasy High Universe. Am I able to play Bandcamp links off the bot? Mm. Perhaps. Chris has a fancy illegal bot now. I do have Ooh. a Nim. Nim is trashy. <laughs> I don't know what I mean by that. Good bot. Thank you, Nim. My shirt's on backwards. Nim is a good boy. I love to be called big boy. Um, try playing it. It's uh, exclamation mark play and then the hyperlink. Is it just nice, the groovy nice. code? Yeah. Mine is the groovy. Uh, What's weird is I'm posting stuff. this, like I'm running this bot, like the Java thing on my fucking computer. So I see all the commands that are run. That's cool. I want to put it on a virtual machine, but I also don't want to take the time to do that. So what? it's just exclamation point play? Yep. It's space and then the hyperlink. Let's see if he... It's working! Y'all, the music, music in this podcast one hour. is so good. Um, Nim died. Trying to get the come back. R.I.P. Nim. I'm sorry. I'm back. Sorry. See Hello. If he likes it. Hello. No, he did not want to play that. Nim said no. To begin playing. Ugh. Um. No, I didn't. Didn't want to play it. Um. What sort okay. of music should I give you guys to listen to? Um. I know exactly what to do. Music. I'm just gonna post it so y'all can listen to it your own time. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't want to repost it, you can always. Oh, you already. I was about to say they can just click on it in the bot channel. Um. All right. So, uh, you guys managed to make it to the top of the quarry, once again breaking past the dust and debris of the cave that seems to permanently settle there, regardless of wind and weather. And, uh, yeah, you're hit by the sun. Uh, not as much time as you think would have, uh, think has passed, um, as it is still about midday. Okay, uh... Did time break? No, oh, we just weren't, like, it was morning when we went down there. Like, it just was dark down there. Light was fucked. We should do the plan thing. Yeah, we should make a plan. We need to sleep. Step one, Maybe. sleep? Yeah. And then step two, find out about I got... I, this vision, I guess, of the I miners. I also got a vision. They were split. I don't know about what. And it was bloody, and they fought. I used. I I made. Uh, I used. I did the turn undead thing again, and he got. They got dragged down a corridor. Um. 
Not they like they weren't running like Turn Undead usually does. They were being dragged. So that's probably where we gotta go. Unfortunately, we shouldn't have. That was probably not a fight that dude situation. That was probably a help that dude situation. Yeah, that's what I thought because the last feeling I got before blackness was just regret. regret. Yeah, that was cool that we said that at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like you can read people's minds or something. Mm, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I did read your mind last time. Sorry. Um, cool. Okay, wanna go to sleep then? Like here? Like right now? I have a Maybe time. we should find a Maybe. little bit better place to camp a little farther away? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, we're like right on the edge of this thing. If we were to roll the wrong way, we'd fall in. And that would be unfortunate. That would be less than ideal. I, I hate to complain, but I am bleeding to death. You're bleeding? How are you still bleeding? Um, I have 3 sleep. HP. Just go to sleep, you'll be You're good. not bleeding more. You're the same amount of bleeding. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. I'm fine. <laughs> Wait, you were I go HP over and I'll use cure you. wounds. We're about to go bed. He did necrotic damage. Yeah, he did ouchy shit. No, and he had three HP. Like, yeah, not good. That was actually very close. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. After I mean, you say that, I get heal you back for seven, and you're up to ten. Oh, we'll thank say, you so much. Uh, all of you, uh, pass or fail, you have like dried blood outside of your ears. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, and if you're the outdoorsy type, I'm... No. I don't mind the outdoors. It's fine with me. Can you me. find a place for us to camp? I can... I can try, yeah. I, I actually... I, I can actually help here. I didn't get you any visions together? or anything like y'all. Yeah, can I just do a survival check for a good camping Yeah, spot? can I... I was gonna look for... I was gonna try for survival? Uh, yeah, go ahead, both of you. 23? 23. 19. 19. Both of you, uh, you go staking out into the woods a bit. Uh, you find a nice clearing. Um, the ground is pretty cleared, but there are branches that extend really far and sort of blot out the sun and might protect you from rain. Um, and uh, it, it looks, you know, fairly comfortable and fairly defendable. Defendable. Sick. Okay. I will point out that it is the middle of the day. A watch might not be the most necessary thing ever. I think we should anyway. I don't disagree. I'm just saying that, like, <laughs> less intense than, like, the middle of the night when you're making sure that there's not... Yeah, it's fine. So you guys are long resting? Go uh, sleep. Maybe. Uh... Maybe do you? Since I don't know how long a long rest is that eight hour eight hours? Oh, eight you hours. know what? I have a spell that can help us. Oh, oh really? Uh I can cast alarm as a ritual spell. Oh good spell. Well and like long rest Ooh. you can you only need to be asleep for six of it, so like you split up shifts and shit. Like it's fine. But I mean I can uh basically make a silent triple alarm in mm -hmm. a uh, 20 foot cube around our site. Uh, if I spend uh, eleven minutes doing it, so I will do that. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. So there's with the alarm spell there. Are you guys not taking any watches? No, I think we're still taking watches. I think we can do both. Yeah. I feel like me asking that kind of planted a seed of fear. Just a little bit. Yeah. Slightly. <laughs> So Just you're not taking watches. Interesting. <laughs> um, no, uh, we need to take a two-hour watch. Yeah, we need to take a two-hour watch. watch. That, that adds up. Um, okay, who's taking first? I'll take first. I'm the least fucked up. I'll take oh. first. So, I'm a um, bit fucked, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit, a little bit fucked. Um, so you guys, you, um, you treat your wounds, you wrap yourselves in the bandages that you carry with you. 
Um, and you pull out some bare sleeping equipment, just as much you know as you can carry without being you know burdened down by it. Uh, and uh, yeah, you, the all except Latona, you you sort of lay down to rest and to sleep and recover. Good night. You think about anything while you're awake, Lona, uh, uh, Latona, looking at uh, two of your friends who almost died. Nearly died, died in well, front of three me. Three of your friends. I don't yeah. know. Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Are they friends, Latona? I think they're friends. Just as good friends as the friends you had before? No, not as good as them yet. No? Do you think you're ever going to find friends like them? That's what you went out here for, right? I just went out here to help people. Are you doing that? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like I'm putting more people in danger again. Yeah, maybe you are. Probably am. Yeah. Um, You doing anything else while you're just sitting here relaxing? I don't think she's relaxing. I think she is obscenely tense. Sure. Um, every... I don't know if you've ever been in the woods, Sophie. I live in the... Yeah, in I've the been in the woods. Have you, and when you're in there and it's very quiet, you know how the trees creak? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Latona is picking up on every creak the woods are making. Uh, um, yeah. However, yeah. something that stands out, no sounds of wildlife. Mm, this don't love the that ambient music in the background would have you believe <laughs> um all right and that is your watch who's next up i'll do next hey nova um you see latona comes over wakes you up um any dreams um well yeah so um Lashtar have like weird shit dreams <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um they're just filled with the stuff that like their ancestors were trying to run away from and like fight so it's just another night of like cryptic Cory spirit shit nothing she <laughs> hasn't had a million times before nothing, so nothing great um any yeah. memories of your own come up while you're either on watch or while you were asleep? Um, I think just like being in danger again mm -hmm. and being like in the middle of action kind of brings some stuff up. Okay. So. Um, interesting. Um, are you doing anything on your watch? Just looking and making sure. Uh, they probably look around at like the party members to see if they're sleeping or if they're like awake mm -hmm. um and just like observing for noises and such when you can't see him very well the look he's snoring so hard <gasps> what a good boy um all right um well you're watched nothing happens who's next up i guess i can go all right ignis uh nova comes to uh, wake you up or jostle you if you weren't asleep and you're on watch. Um, Ignis, what, what, what were your thoughts while you were going through that fight? Did you think anything post-fight, mid-fight? I think thinking a lot about being a burden on people that he wants to protect. Like, he doesn't like being the one getting healed and needing help. And he feels like he was more of a burden than anything else. I mean, you did a lot of your own healing, right? Oh, yeah, but, like, anime. Right, right. So so very much like he's ignoring the helping. He's thinking about got up to Nova, didn't have any key to heal, uh, fell, nearly died, all that kind of stuff. And you didn't have any key to heal because you healed yourself. Yeah. And do you regret doing that? Because you could have been fine. Yeah, I, I think, like, out of player knowledge, I know that that 11 hit points would have immediately killed me and I would have been dead, but Ignis doesn't know that, and so he's like, I might not have needed to do that. Right. I could have helped someone else. And um, your, your dealings with people who are unconscious is usually they're in this unstable state and being 75 feet up a dark cliff wall, you didn't know how your friends were doing. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder how that 
will uh, affect you going forward. Anything else on your watch? Well, now I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on your watch, Ignis? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm just looking out, uh, uh, definitely paying attention, and that's about it. Okay, your watch uh, ends up, and it's going to be Frigus for the last watch before you guys are ready to continue. Uh, you go and jostle him, wake I throw, Frigus. I throw a rock at his head. Yeah. Uh, Frigus, you are startled awake by a rock slamming to the side of your head. Uh, precisely thrown um, from the masterful Ignis. I'm gonna, uh, you know, just get up. Uh, I'm gonna start writing in my journal uh, every detail about uh, the fight that I can remember about specifically the the, the entity, uh, just to see if I can't, you know, bring it somewhere else later to figure out what it is. Okay. And um. You go through the ritual of, like, preparing my spells for the day and everything as well. All right. Uh, yeah, you're going through your journal. You're going through your spell book. Um, do you think about Nyx, the librarian, when you're writing that log? Maybe she might know something of, you know, that creature? Um, I do. I do. Like, it, it, it starts off as, like, I wonder if the library has, like, a tome of, of, uh, of creatures, and then my mind wanders. Okay. Um, you know, while your mind's wandering, while you're writing, uh, you can't help but look up at the sky, which is uh, right now entering that twilight. You guys have been resting for about six, seven hours now from midday. And um, this twilight, it, it reminds you of the first thing you saw when you came to, while you were pinned in that cliff wall, uh, as Latona had just cast her healing word. Um, any thoughts on that? Uh, he would probably in a similar vein to Ignis would be beating himself up uh, thinking how can the last line of defense be the first one to fall and how that was wrong. Right. And, you know, if you die to one spirit, how does that reflect on your entire village that was destroyed? True. Like, if you, if you <laughs> failed in some random quarry... Then... And I'm all that's left of Pax Eternia. You know, how could you hope to avenge Pax Attorney at that point? Mm -hmm. um, I will say you notice something while you're watching the tree lines. You see a roughly seven foot tall antlered figure sort of dashing between the trees far enough from your vision that you don't immediately register it. But once it comes close enough that you can, you know, properly identify it, it looks at you, you your eyes meet, and it goes back into the forest, fading away. I'm just going to kind of give like a, a head, like a head bow of respect towards it. Right. Um, you see the rest of your parties, you know, beginning to wake up. It is early into the night. Uh, the sun has just set, and you know, at this point, your campfire is is not but in embers at this point. Um, All right, who's ready to hunt some ghosts? Does that seem like it's time to? Okay. Rigus, you see anything on your watch? So that deer thing. What deer thing? The seven foot tall deer antler thing. Okay. It, it just kind of walked by us. Well, I'm glad that it didn't mess with us. I, I guess. don't get a bad vibe from that thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't see it, so I'm going to take your word for it. I mean, we're alive, so. It's a giant deer creature? Yeah, it was like seven feet tall. Okay, that's scary. It's probably fine. Not more terrifying than what we're about to go try and fight. Yeah. Should we, like, try and plan? Yes. I mean, here's the thing. It's not going to be the same thing we just fought. Mm, well, I true. took some different spells. Uh, uh, I yeah, had... I messed. I, I, I changed a couple things up. I had a 
in retrospect, a stupid spell for uh, close quarters, but now I've kind of adjusted my at uh, ready spells. So I think it should be a little bit better. Uh, do a little bit more damage. Oh. Yeah, I don't Also, have... don't throw cold at this. It's just something I've learned. I don't have any uh, cold. Our normal weapon attacks, they don't do uh, as much. As much. They still hurt it. Uh, but psychic and lightning damage so far have done good. So... I'm sure Every Radiant time. probably does fine. Yeah, also, uh, thank you. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm going to try fire next. Oh, I tried fire a little bit. I don't think... I didn't notice it do anything too spectacular. Did... Fire just worked, right? Chris? Yeah. Um, I will remind you, Latona, that uh, you noticed that the flames did not do too much to the spirit. Oh, okay. Um, My bad. You did, however, get a weird feeling, um, like a religious sort of uh, cleric feeling about seeing the creature ablaze. Yeah, I did not know what to make of that. It's like immune to fire? Resistant. No, no, it didn't seem immune. It was immune to cold, right? Um, no. No? No. Just okay. resisting. My my blades did pretty good. Yeah. With that, so. It seems like it seems like even punching and kicking it didn't do a lot, but it at least did something. If it if it is at all an option, maybe we set our sights not on it, but the but thing what dragged it further dragged in? It out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the thing that the thing that the probably thing that killed it. Doesn't. Yeah. All right, let's do it. The only way to go is forward, yeah. And this time we have a rope. And this time we, we had rope them. the last time. Just gonna point that out. We did have rope the last time. Please. Don't yeah, but fall now it's one that. Bigness. Yeah, but now it's one that's just already anchored, and we can go up and down it. That's true. 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 And this that time we can go down very slowly. Yeah, no, no having to do funny. There funny are skulls in the wall, and should be prepared for that also. Um, I do think you guys are gonna manage to get down this one and not die. Yeah, um, <laughs> that, that would be the goal this time. That'd be very frustrating to make you run that again. <laughs> uh, before we go okay. down, I am casting mage armor and turning that into an arcade ward as well. Can I okay. pat the skull that scared me on the way down? Yeah, you can give it a nice pat. Yeah, j just a good luck pat. Yeah. It's up to my beefy 31 health points. Jesus. Um, That's a lot. So I, have, yeah. I have 10 temporary hit points. Oh, okay. Um, side note, Frigus. Your alarm Yo. spell while you guys were camping, like when you went on your watch, you noticed it had tripped or it had been disabled. Like it wasn't around. And oh. uh, do I have all my things? You do have all your things. <laughs> I don't really care. That. Neat, cool, good. While we sleep, nothing to unpack there, probably. No. I love saying things. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, that's part of the ending. Um, saying things is so scary. So fun. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Can you make a wisdom save for me? Yeah, sure. What's my what's my wisdom? Could you assign that? <laughs> three. All right. Yeah. Mm, it's a little high. Plus three. Right. No minus three. No. All right. He's gonna get a nat That's 20. a one. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's anything. What? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm glad. It feels so good, does it, Chris? <laughs> it does. It feels great. Yeah. Never the player. <laughs> my, always my the DM. Corporal wisdom fail will not affect me as much as I can affect your <laughs> fantasy character. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe I'm outside your door right now. I actually am. I'm here to. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. We took a road trip. 
Open the door right now. <laughs> We're right there. Now. Do it right now. We're here. <laughs> There's just a group of people who look exactly like Gus Hauser. <laughs> <That was laughs> my, quality of, my quality of mic wouldn't be super different <laughs> right outside the door, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, get out of my house. Haha, uh-huh, I made you laugh. Uh-huh. Is your refrigerator in Why are you guys just on your laptops in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. Sitting like, in your hallway. I... It's like Chris, we're doing you like that I brought my whole microphone with me? Yeah, you guys okay, brought so the whole that... set. You have your desk out there? Yeah. I got. I, I even got my cap card in case I feel like streaming. We're, we're, we're sitting in the hallway like, like it's in high school and we're all doing a project on our assigned laptops. Oh. Juniper's here with me. <laughs> cool. Okay, no, but... for real though, uh, you going and looking and checking that feels like the beginning of like a webcam horror movie. Absolutely. Yeah, like, really like something shot Blair Witch Project. Yeah, itself. unfriended. <laughs> Oh my god, stop. So, no, something that looks like it would be shown at Stockholm. <laughs> oh god. What's great about Wookie though, is Did the, you... despite him being asleep, whenever he hears something or smells something he, he doesn't recognize, like Sam, like if like he won't do this with Sam or Don or Jack or Joe, but any of Sam's friends who come over, like he instantly knows and like he will alert me. <laughs> um, That's funny. That's because so I won't boy. I won't hear them or know that they're in the house, but like <laughs> Also, just I, I, I heard your Sockon joke, and I'm deeply disappointed in you. It is a joke. Uh, no one, no one fell for it. I no. <laughs> I don't know what I'd be falling for. Look, you come here. It's it's a D's the nuts kind of joke. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, I D's nutted you last session. Fucked up. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever done that. I'm so sorry, I did it. He's so good. Well, what a baby. He was just at terminal velocity. Yeah. Oh, good stretch. What a good Big stretch. stretch. Ah. Come here. Come on. Mm. That's as Sleep. fast as he moves. He's sleepy. Oh, Alright, you're going to be my lap for the rest of this. Bring you guys back up here. Um. Alright, so you're headed back into the cave. Um, one thing that I will say you note is, uh, why'd you roll for initiative? We didn't? Ignis did. Um, Damn, that's wild. When did, I, when did I do that? Like, just now. Sometimes do. you see the buttons on D&D Beyond and you just want to click them real bad. Sure. But it doesn't say I did. Okay. What a baby. Um, alright, so you guys are headed back towards the cave. You start making your way down on the rope. Um, as you descend into the uh, the darkness of this quarry, um, what was dim light before is complete darkness. Oh, great. Um, Did dancing lights help any last time? I got this. Yes, Don't worry about it. I got a torch. I mean, it's a cantrip, so... We can just I both got, do it. I got, I got a torch. Oh, no, you have the... I have the fancy thing, thing yeah. Uh, yeah. But it only lasts an hour. Oh, it works. Yeah, okay. I use Eyes of Night. You can all, everyone has my dark vision now. 300 feet. Fuck the dark. We don't believe in her. Look. Where he's headed. I decided to get out of my lap and go explore the desk. Look. He's so talented. <laughs> the way he just flopped onto you. Baby. Um, so you guys are casting what now? Uh, it's not a cast. I just uh, ability. Everyone has my dark vision. Three hundred feet. Dark vision. Are you able to see in dark light as if it was dim? Yes. There might be more to it. I just give me a sec. I have been doing this for four years. And I don't know what dark vision is. Uh, it's, yeah, that's how it be. Yeah, it's just normal dark vision. It's not fancy dark vision. So it's light as if it's dim. Sure thing. Uh, so all of you, um, you, uh, yeah, dim light. So imagine your bedroom with the TV on. Um... But like the oh, you mean the most light that my bedroom ever gets at night? Yeah. 
Yes. That's what I mean. Um, yeah. You guys, you reach the cave floor. Um, for those of you who see it, you see the trail of, you know, clawed marks that lead back into the um, branch of the mine um, that the creature went down. Mm. Guess we're going down the way the creature went. Seems like the only real option. Well, there are other options. It seems like the one that makes the most sense. Like, we saw the creature get dragged that way. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Uh, you guys start making your way down. Um, is there anything you're looking out for or looking for? Ghosts. Ghosts. Uh, sure. So mentally, as you're going down here, you feel, um, uh, especially those of you like Latona or Nova who are inclined to this sort of thing, um, you feel and hear these echoes of the past. Um, and uh, occasionally, even you, Ignis and Prignis, you can see it's like the shadows reach out towards you, um, where these sort of crags and crevices in the rock wall, uh, where darkness pools, it, it slowly trickles out of them and, and tries to grasp at you. Um, to no real effect, but... You do notice it. Ah, oh, these are spooky. It's not the ideal. Yeah, it's a little, a little rough. I gotta say, I was pretty ghost neutral before this uh, mine. Now I'm a little bit more negative on them. I don't love them. They're not my favorite. Are you anti-ghost? Not anti. Well, it, it kind of like how it is with spiders, where it's more just. Uh, I respect them. I don't want to be near them. Sure. Yeah, they should. They should leave us be. Um, but you know, they're probably more scared of you than you are of them. <laughs> the the In this case, I believe it. it. <laughs> um, who the fuck changed their thickness? Of course, it was like this. I look over and I just see that face. Oh, uh, should I get? Oh, uh, your shirt caught the. Uh, oh, did it? Uh, yeah, so it's your it's, shirt. Uh, it's Doctor Strange. Great. That's Namor. Oh. Is it Namor? I can't tell. Yeah, that's Namor the Submariner. All right, Sam gave me this shirt like last week, and I've been wearing it today. I'm not a ma massive Marvel fan. Who is Fuck that? Marvel. Oh, wait, did it get the filter, too? Yeah, it got the filter. No way. One sec. Well, when your face is there, it won't get uh, it. Ah, there it is. Yeah! <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, all right. Um, <clears throat> cool. As you guys are going through, um, you notice uh, that there appears to be these sort of, uh, not sort of, but absolutely, uh, skeletons. One thing of note, however, is um, a lot of the extremities, the arms, the legs, fingers, um, skull, uh. are smashed. Um, and the um, like the, the arms and legs, they are they're splintered, uh, but not very much so compared to the skulls, and more importantly, the faces. They. It, it, it seems as if they've been ripped off and crushed to dust, leaving sort of this vacuous hole in a skull. Um, hole? I mean hole. Um, uh -huh. So think of that as you will. Can I roll insight to see if I think this was like something done by another... Like if it was two groups in fighting? Or if it was something post-mortem? Yeah. Um, that won't be an medicine check. Investigation? Medicine. medicine or investigation? Um, medicine. Can I make an investigation while she makes a medicine? Yes, you can. What about a good old 21? Uh, dirty 20. All right, 21 and a 20. Uh, with the medicine check, um, what you know of healing and what you were taught of the human body, because you weren't just taught cleric spells, um, yeah. you were you were taught you know the more in depth things, and um, you know that these wounds appear to be uh, before death. Um, okay. And with the investigation as well, you notice this. Um, 
But one thing you notice uh, investigating these bodies closer is that um, there seem to be a lot of defensive marks like all the way down to the bone. So scratches and things on the forearms, those of which that haven't been completely obliterated, um, as if there may have been one-sided aggressors here. Oh. Not ideal. So if something tries to fight us, we fight back. We don't just lay down and fucking try and defend ourselves. True, 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 true. True. Yeah. Um, do you need me to repeat what I said, Ethan? Yeah. Okay, uh, so on some of the bodies, the bones, there appear to be defensive, like, scratches on the bone itself. Um, from where, like, you know, maybe someone raised an arm while being attacked by a pickaxe or, or a sword. And, um, yeah, and the inference you got from that was perhaps there is a one-sided aggressor and someone who is defending themselves rather than going on the attack. Feel like... This is just my working theory. Uh, one side got uh, either their minds tampered with or possessed by this spirit ghost entity and aggressed on the other half of the mine and they're like, wow, these are my friends. I don't want to kill them. And that got them killed. That is my mm. working theory. I don't, it seems like a plausible theory. Yeah, it seems morbid enough. It does it does seem like one group it doesn't seem like either group was happy with the outcome. I'm gonna like, try to look towards like the corners of this room. Are there like ghosts slingering around like the Yeah, almost everywhere you guys are at there are ghosts pooling in the corners. Oof. Um and it's not often but occasionally uh, a ghost will meet, manifest a set of watchful eyes that sort of glow out from the corners of crags and, and crevices in the cave wall. Weird. Mm. So, set of words. Are we gonna walk in while our captive audience watches? I mean, we don't have so many other options. Yeah, so, uh how would we go about trying to help this? I think we taking just... out what kills them, what yeah. killed them, will probably be one of the most helpful things we can do for them. I think we just have to push it. Let them move on. Sure. I feel like right now we're just operating with a lack of information. Also. Yes, definitely. We well, let, 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 let's get this over with. All right, let's go. Okay, you guys continue deep. Ghost time. Ghost time. Ghost um, fuckers. Mm. No. So, nope. as you're continuing, I'll ignore the comment. As you are continuing, you <laughs> reach this part of the cave where um, it appears like from the sides there is running water as if, so like, uh, almost like an actual like open air aquifer part of this cave, more of a natural cave um, mm. comes into being. Um, and, and what you see are these rotted or completely missing uh, framework of what might have been mine structure. So, like, you know, wooden scaffolds to walk across this almost river like uh, geographical feature. And um, again, you see the picks and things that have been. Yes. <laughs> um, well, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, bringing to new map. Here we are. Oh, I don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's pretty. Yes, it is a pretty map. Look at that cave cavussy. Oh, say there that. it goes. Don't say cavussy. Cavussy's right not, here. Not in my Stop house. it. Stop it. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> there are cavussies. Um, are we in the middle of the water? That's not water. What's is it water? water? You are in it... ankle deep water. So the scaffold and walkways that once we're here have been rotted down or completely missing so you can't really walk on anything and you will mm -hmm. see like occasionally there appears to be water that flows down to deeper parts of this and they're not exactly um you sized so you can't really squeeze through um, but 
of note, you see that the water, just because of the structure of the cave and the little you know crevices that it flows down, it, it's not one concurrent um, stream. Uh, there are a lot of rip tides, a lot of weird water movement that is caused by this. Um, but the weirdest of all is around a very familiar spirit. Dimmer than what it once was, instead of a bright, shining, phantasmic purple, it is this dim glow. And it's curled up. Um, have you ever seen a Dotson curled up to sleep? How it's like rounded up, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yes. it is, that is how this spirit is laying. And the water around it is completely um, missing it. it. It's created a dry spot of earth around it um, as it is sitting there. Um, and you can't quite tell it if it, if it is the flickering of the ghost, um, but it looks like it's shivering. Um, and one thing to note in this dry earth around it is there appears to be these little shoots of burnt wood, blackened um, struts. Uh, if you need me to repeat any of that, I'll be happy to. You guys want to go in and be nice to a ghost? I think it's time to be nice to a ghost. Um, it'll make a friend! I don't know if I'll be able to talk in the ghost brain, but that could potentially be really helpful. Yeah, um, I think most that's things the don't way we go. love it if you talk in their brain. Yeah, but what if we can't talk to you just yeah. normally? So, a good backup yeah, if I can't talk. I'm kind of prickly, and he's kind of dumb. So, y'all want to talk to the ghost? I can I try talking to the ghost. I'm so bad at talking. Latona, you want to try talking to the ghost? Yeah, I'll try talking <laughs> to the ghost. Yeah, I get it. Out of character, I have a 6 in charisma. Oh. Yeah, I have a 19. No, but you're bad at talking? I'm... Oh, did you not... Realize it not obvious. I thought, I you, thought you were doing, doing great. Some kind of like oh. you know, haha! -ha, I'm awkward, but like charming, awkward type of. I am constantly in fear of conversation. That's too much information. Do you want to go talk to the ghost? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good. 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 <laughs> um, sure. So you guys begin heading down, sloshing through this ankle-deep water in some areas and, and up to your waist in others. Um, very cold water, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you're, we're not getting warm again after this. We're no, just cold for the rest is, of this adventure. This is bone-chilling water. Um, and up. you make your way to the ghost. Um, as you're about 20 feet up to it, um, you see that the shivering um, or the flickering, whatever it was, uh, stops. Mm -hmm. And it begins to un, uh, sort of unwrap itself um, from the fetal-like position it was in. And um, I'm going to move you guys closer to it. There you are. Um, you see that it looks... Actually, and as soon as like it recognizes what it's looking at, the um, the dim phantasmic purple light turns once again into that supernova brilliant um, light as it sort of rages uh, stationary as to where it is um, and looks at you. Sorry if we hurt you. Put my hands up like in a uh, surrendery type. You know, hey, I'm not, I'm not aggressive yeah. type of. So we'll know that. Same. Yeah. Latona uh, is just going to talk. Sorry that we hurt you. We were also scared. It seems like you're just scared. I'm sorry that you're feeling that way. You would know nothing of being afraid. You're right. I probably don't know what the way you do. Um, it... Uh... It looks at you, um, and for once, instead of this sort of violent, uh, you know, uh, you, neon almost face, uh, you see it dims a bit and you can make out some features. Um, not, not many, but you can make out, um, most importantly, eyes um, that 
have sort of focused on you, Latona. Latona makes full eye contact back. Um, it asks you if you were a devil. Not probably. Well, I'm related to a devil, but I myself, no. Um, I actually serve a serve a. I'm part of a religion. Not not devil. Who do you worship? I serve Elmeter. Are you as selfless as your patron? Oh, I don't think anyone's as selfless as, as they are. I can only do my best to try and emulate. It, um, and you guys, the other uh, three members of the party, you, you really haven't heard words so much as you have felt. Um, and Nova, this is a twice fold for you. Um, mm -hmm. a very unsettling and violent psychic energy. Um, okay. Latona, you are not picking up on this um, you. as you are in conversation and can understand what is being said um, mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And um, it uh, it asks you, Latona, why have you come here? What do you seek to gain? I just want to make these mines safe for people to go into again. I just I'm... want to prevent more danger. Why would you want people to come back here? Well, none of no one, no one really knows what happens. What happened here? It's um, it happened too long ago. But there's like entirely new residents, and it would be a valuable source of income for them to be able to afford to feed their families and such. You never change a valuable source of income. You call it right, so that people can feed their families. That's all we wanted at first. It's not why your party is here. Aren't well, you... we're just really trying to make things safe. We were told that there was dangers about, and we wanted to make sure that no one was going to get hurt. To be 100% honest, I'm trying to woo a librarian. You can't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. It's like on the oh. pure vibes, and it's like... Mm. <laughs> Um, after the last few exchanges, Nova, you notice, especially after Latona said it would be of great value, um, just that part about value and not the part about um, providing for families and like, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's you, you, that violent energy, it, it turns into disgust. Um, mm. And um, Latona, you get the feeling that it did not hear or did not choose to hear um, mm -hmm. that second part of your sentence. Okay. A big thing I'm I would wor I'm worried about with this place is it's so dangerous. And what if a kid were to accidentally wander in and get hurt? And I just want to make sure that if that were to happen, that they'd be okay. Children die. It would be a lesson to the others. Children shouldn't have to die for lessons to take place. You can have lessons without death. If no more children were to die and the life and life was fair. Then I'm not asking for fair, I'm asking for better. Then you Fair isn't attainable, spend, better is. You will spend your life disappointed. Doesn't mean it's not worth trying. Try try and fail. I fail at plenty already. I fail every. I fail so many people all the time. Why not at least fail while trying to help things? You see, the spirit's sort of at a loss of words right now, um, and it's kind of stood stationary for a second. What happened here? You and the rest of the party. You see that the spirit um, momentarily. It's almost as if it falls into an illusion. And you see it screaming and contorting and reaching and flailing its arms to the sky as these phantasmic flames lick at the sides of the spirit, um, eventually engulfing it. Yeah, that ain't, that's no good. What the fuck? Um, and at that point, you are reminded of your 
um, hellish yeah. rebuke. Yeah. Was there... What caused the fire? Greed caused the fire. Ambition fueled it. And regret smothered the flame. But after the flame died, all that was left was emptiness. Emptiness is a miserable feeling. Not very few things worse. Feeling like you've messed everything up so bad that nobody will ever come back. And that there's nothing you can do to fix any of it. The spirit sort of sits and thinks for a second. It asks you, Why did you mention... If a child were to fall into the mines and be harmed, but by what lay in here? I don't know. I mean, just always gotta do what's best for the future. Gotta do what you can to try and make the future a better place. Because somebody's gotta live in it. It reminisces on what you said for a moment. You know that shortly after this mine found itself in a star sorry state it's in today dozens of families were soon murdered and not a single father or mother or any of the miners who were trapped here eternal know what happened to them i'm so sorry that's one of the worst fates i can imagine and if we don't know what happened our family and our children. It's very, very hard to empathize with what would happen to someone else's. But do, why would you want anyone to go through the pain that you've gone through? Why do they deserve not to go through it? Because everyone deserves a better life. Well, not everyone. The that, that's semantics. Everyone deserves a better life. Do you think I deserved a better life? I think you probably did. Even if you made bad choices, there are things that can be made up for. Everyone deserves to know happiness and peace. Not, we're not going to. Nobody gets to feel that way all the time. But there's nothing wrong with striving for better. Striving for a better life. Striving for a better future to be able to truly take care of those around you. Uh, Freus is also going to pipe up and uh, huh. be like, now I've only listened to, to half of this conversation, uh, but from what I gather, you are, uh, you're going through a similar pain to me and my friend here. I, uh, very recently we lost our entire home, our, our entire, uh, our entire way of life to somebody else's greed and rage. And I completely understand why I do inflict that on others. But that is never going to make you feel better. Um, Latona, the link with you is severed and you feel okay. this, uh, the similar energy the other three have been feeling. And the link is um, made with Frigus. Um, and it says, so I'll never feel better. Not if you continue this cycle of rage. You said you lost. What happened? I'm from a a town called Pax Eternia. It is a beautiful place. It is still is my home, even if it is no longer there. It was raised to the ground by a single person. And Rage fills my heart every day I think about it. But I know that if I push that onto others, if I do the same thing, I will just be making the world a worse place. You mentioned greed. What do you know of greed? You know, a greed for power, for for attention, for notoriety. Are there good forms of greed? I feel if harnessed 
greed can be a motivator, but all things in moderation. You're a greedy person, aren't you, Chris? I am. You're greedy for uh, power. Vengeance. Power. Vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And what would you do to fulfill that greed? Would you kill? Depends on who. I have killed for greed. And I wonder if that devil's god would forgive me for the miners I killed in my greed. If they knew who it was for. For? Um, and the other three, um, as you do not understand what the spirit is saying, you do notice that it is welling up once again with that familiar rage. Who did you kill for? You... Instead of something verbal, you are once again met with that unconscious dream that you had, um, where the very valuable gems and materials and minerals that were being mined from the quarry and brought up, um, but something is revealed to you. Um, there is a shadowed figure that you can't quite make out who is sort of looking over these documents and requisition forms and inventory forms and and things and noting off the uh in gold amount of materials gained and um you're not much of a math person um i'd imagine uh but yeah. you are a very smart person um <laughs> I was about to say, you don't, it's not like as a wizard you're messing around with numbers very much, but you, you are pretty intelligent. And uh, looking over this, the first thing you notice is the numbers don't quite add up um, to what you're looking at. One thing of note on this shadowed figure is as they are peering over and writing on these forms, they have a... Uh, uh, one, a black cloak on a robed hand, um, but instead of flesh, the hand is of bone. And you are brought out of the vision. I will, uh... Um... Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I didn't have anything. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, man, sometimes we just open our mouths to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will. I will just kind of stare at the at this entity swelling up with with, with his with his energy. Nova's gonna speak up because she feels bad that she hasn't said anything. <laughs> um. Hi. Um. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. I am not sure what type of creature you are, but I I have a lot of experience with spirits. And I... What can we do to help you? It doesn't look like it knows how to answer that. Um, but it says... I am the last one you should concern yourself with helping. And it sort of gestures towards those reaching and grasping spirits. I am among the guilty. I... I think that the hardest thing above forgiving others is forgiving yourself for things that you did a long time ago. Or even not a long time ago I've done some pretty horrible things um, and they kind of eat me up and they still are and I might be a hypocrite for like <laughs> saying that you should forgive yourself but it's so much easier to say that to another person other than yourself. 
what I'm saying is just, I don't know how many years you've been here, but it's definitely been a, a lot of them. And after that long of a time, you might not even be the person or creature you were back then. And it gets to a point where you have to give yourself some, some room to grow. She looks um, terrified waiting for a response. <laughs> <laughs> it, it snaps its link over to you and it says, um, let me think, let me ponder on that one. What it would say here. Like the yes. orb. Let me ponder on my orb of Hi. Uh, characterization traits I have noted for my spirit um, <laughs> as to what it would reply. Perfect. Uh, I am beyond forgiveness of my own. I have done terrible things that shouldn't be forgiven. But there are others who do not feel regret for what they've done. And I think that's why I'm still here. Ooh, it's okay if you don't want to answer that this question. Like that's totally fine if you don't want to. Um, but who is that person for you? They don't answer the question. They instead gesture at the spirits that are, you know, again very dim uh, and very compared to him at least uh, very incorporeal and says they weren't always like this they were once alive of course but after death and after the dust settled and the mine was abandoned they were whole like me i am one of the last the left who is not a mere shadow of the past so you were one of them there are some things that set us apart. I killed most of them. And uh, your mind's kind of brought back to uh, what Frigus and Latona found on the defensive marks. I am not very good at this. But it, it seems like you have to move past this eventually because at some point there's a time to rest and leave it behind I, I i'm just saying like i realize that you may have done some very bad things we just want to help you we just want to make sure that this place is like th that you guys are put to rest and are like in your afterlives and happy I deserve to go to hell it says somewhere in a place I can't go deep in these mines there's something that anchors us here okay we, we can is it like an item or like a creature I don't or know. like I, a puzzle I don't Okay. I'm gonna well, it's definitely, I'm gonna elbow Ignis and be like, did they teach you like philosophy or something in monk school? <laughs> Absolutely not. They taught me how to punch people. You don't have any words of wisdom to drop on this ghost? I got it a nickname. A nickname? Y'all do give nicknames to everybody. Why would yeah, this I just don't be think an it's, exception? I just don't think it's the time right now. No, I think it is. Tell me. Herp. What? He's Fair enough. Out of he character, is that is a alcoholic drug drink. What, what? did you say? Yo, Herp. let's call him Lean. <laughs> Perp and Lean. Lucky slush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Um, sorry, I was distracted. Call him um, Jankum. 
we, we can find it, though. Um. Um, the rest of you, while Nova is speaking, notice that this creature is growing increasingly, uh, like, again, back to that neon light and violet looking. Um, but continue with what you were saying, Nova. <laughs> That's not concerning. Uh, I think that means we should leave. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nova. Very yeah. sorry to interrupt you. I think it's time we keep moving. Okay. Thank um, you so much for talking with us. You see, We're gonna... before you guys say that, um, as it's sort of building up, and um, uh, it was sort of intended as Nova was saying what she's saying, I kind of cut you off there, Nova. Mm -hmm. Good. We, we can definitely find it for you and for everybody else who's in this mine. Do you know where it generally is or just like deeper in the mines it's okay if you don't know that like that's totally fine i am in a moment of clarity okay when the chaos subsides momentarily I feel it coming back. When I'm engulfed by it, the fire, I don't know or remember where you must go. But I cannot help you there. Okay. That's and okay. And I may very well try to do the opposite. Oh, like stop us? But what I hope is that you succeed in your quest for making the mind safe. Yes. Okay, I realize. Oh, I'm so sorry for interrupting you. You're fine. Um, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> it, um, I'm sorry. It says, though, I hope you succeed. And when you do, I hope I'm sent to a place to be judged and punished for what I've done. Yeah, sure. I mean, everyone's uh, path to progress and recovery While you're is sort not of linear. Tumbling we should on the words go. you're saying, you see that his eyes <laughs> run, let's, let's... disappear. Uh, it disappears. Let's go. Let's the, its eyes disappear, so that one uh, human part of it that you can leave. see. <laughs> I'll talk run, to you later. Run. We go. We, I, go. we, we run leave. away. It's time to move on. Yeah. Time you guys want to, to sprint? Or away. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're not running away because we're angry at you. We're just running because um, no, Nova, Nova. Let's talk more. Not running. Running. I'm, I'm, I'm talking and running. I'm running. Almost, I'm almost like a tornado. It begins spiraling, and the water around it turns into this sort of water spout uh, of rushing water. And that would be a cool thing to see if I turn around. <laughs> yeah, if you guys turn around. <laughs> Not looking what back. You do, what you do <laughs> notice is as you guys are running, because of this water being pulled into the spout, um, you're no longer in ankle deep water. You are, you know, your feet are slapping oh. against the cold stone. <laughs> uh, or, or, yeah. Um, it's for the help, perp. We're gonna save you. Sprint. Stop calling away. it perp. Why? It's a weird name. It is a weird name. Um, and uh, you guys are are brought into one of the you know the non water caverns. Um, not quite the entrance as you guys have been walking a while. Bye bye. You. Boys never know how to RP ghosts. They're <laughs> weird. Like good ghosts. You did a good so, job. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the session. It was fantastic. Well, thank you for running. If you thank have you for notes, running. I'm always here for them. Yeah. Um, uh, it was good. The schism of miners fighting blood and then regret. Uh, it's resistance to fire, cold. Oh, no, I was talking about stuff. critique notes. No, I, I have. Uh, a, uh, I know what I did in the session. Okay. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Um, I why... just, I just was like, oh, I got this. I, this is what I'm doing. This, this, uh, with this character is taking notes. <laughs> I need to remember that I am mildly allergic to hay and should absolutely wear long sleeves uh, at my job. Oh, um, I have a feedback. Um, yeah. Why didn't you make the ghost a gilf? A ghost I'd like to fuck. <laughs> why didn't you do that? I mean, 
there are some pretty fucked up people on the internet. I'm pretty sure someone <laughs> wants to fuck the regret ghost. <laughs> None of us do. None of you. Somebody.